Welcome to another podcast of the current situation at Manchester United. I know it's been a while I've done a video, actually, what, almost three weeks now. Um, this video is going to be about Manchester United keeping everything up for another season. Hey, let us not act as if this was not going to happen at some point. Let us not act, although I've said it, that it's a possibility that he could be or he could not be sacked. Just because we just won, well, it's been a week, a couple of weeks now. Just because we won the FA Cup a couple of weeks back, person are saying that doesn't save his skin in him not getting sacked. But he's not getting sacked. He's, he's staying for another season at Manchester United. So, seeing that all the speculations of him being sacked is evap has evaporated now, I will not say he's staying until next season, there's a couple of things we need to keep in mind. There's a couple of things we need to keep in mind. Don't expect Jadon Sancho to be a Manchester United player for next season, if never again. Because I don't think Jadon Sancho, at the age that he's right now, wants another loan. He wants to establish himself in a team where he can start game in, game out, season in, season out. Isn't me? Because he's you know he needs that, he needs that consistency. He hasn't had that consistency since he left for Manchester United in two thousand twenty one. I'm talking about season long period, not just for like half a season. If it was half a season I was talking about, I would just be mentioning his short loan, his six month loan back to Dortmund. But I'm talking about season full, season in and out. He has hadn't he hasn't had that consistency since we signed him from Dortmund in twenty twenty one. So the the thing is this man, we have to accept that he's gonna be sold. Not because he's trash, but it's because of the fact that the relationship between him and the manager is going nowhere fast. It's not going to be, uh, 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 um, what do you call it? It's not going to be restored. Although that's not the word I was looking for. I was looking for another word. Um, it's not going to be restored. The relationship is not going to be restored. So, I mean, hey, I believe in God and I, I know say God can do things because nothing is possible for God. It's, it's impossible for God, but. If him, if this relationship between him and the, if, it, if the relationship between Sancho and everything Og is fixed, <clears throat> then good, then good. Although I know say everything is still going to keep his eyes watching out for Sancho because, quote unquote, if a if a person was so yeah, if a person show your side for the first time, and you forgive the person, you trust about the the person, you still have to go watch them. They still have to go watch them. So anyway, that's something we need to be considerate of. That Jaden Sancho may not be a player at Manchester United, a Manchester United player next season. Um, couple of things. Um, that means that, dude, man, we have to be wary of the players that we're li we're linked to, man. We have seen him linked to. Again, I don't want to, you know, be a broken record, but we have seen him being, you know, linking, you know. Signing Mason Mount. Why are you signing Mason Mount? What's the reason we have signed Mason Mount for? We have not seen the reason why he signed Mason Mount. We haven't seen it. I'm not sure if he was trying to implement, although this has been spoken about. I've said it. I'm not sure if he's trying to implement two number 10s and a number 6. Although he has tried that, but the midfield is not balanced, man. It's not a moderate midfield. You can't have high two high number tens and just one six. That midfield is going to overrun, going to get overrun, and it has. It has been overrun last season, and we have seen it. So we don't want to be signing players, man, just to save their careers, man. We're not no good Samaritan, man. This is a football club. Yes, we have football persons coming into the club now. You know, to stir up the pot a bit, try to change something up. But we can't be making signings like this, man. We can't be saving persons career because their, their career is on the down path. We can't be doing that. We can't be doing that. And yes, you know, seeing that, uh, you know, hold on. Seeing that everything I've seen for another season. Let us make sure that his influence in transfers is cut down. He's diminished. If you go keep him, well, he's staying, so we're keeping him for at least a season. Let us cut down his influence when it comes to transfers, man. 
and the, the, the you know the the football guys that we either brought in already or we're about to bring in deal with that department like at barca man you don't see man you don't see the barca manager apart from pep guardiola having a say on transfers man you know Bayern, I don't think the manager, the uh, the the the, the manager has a big say. I'm not talking about Tuku, cause you know, Tuku <laughs> is only Tuku go on uh Eric Dyer, save Eric Dyer career, get him a trophy, and they didn't get nowhere. They didn't win no trophy last season. Uh, building to 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 questionable players, but before that. The regime, man, with Oliver Kahn and whoever was getting the main players, man. And they were getting players for cheap. Same thing at Real Madrid. You see me? So we need to diminish. This is not the era where managers should be having a big say on transfers, man. This is not Ver Ven Arsene Wenger at Arsenal or Sarks Ferguson at Manchester United or Jose Mourinho at Chelsea in his first tenure. So, yeah, these are the things that we need to do, man. Not me do, but as the, as the, the hierarchy, the, ep, the, top etch, the top upper echelon of the club, they cannot give this guy the influence, the hands-on benefits of getting the transfers done or getting the, or be linked to certain players. Can't do that, man. If it goes, we have, we have, we have seen how this guy is with transfers. Miss amount, 55 mil. You give this guy number seven. Hello. He's not a work class player. You give work class. You give our beloved number seven to a work class player. And see, we can't trust players that just come in with the number seven, man. It has been on the back of Di Maria. Di Maria was promising, but, you know, things didn't go, didn't go as planned. Went on the back of Memphis, well, even before the Maria, went on Antonio Valencia, and Valencia was humble enough to say, yo, I'm not that, I'm not good enough for this number seven. I'm going to take it off and go back to my beloved number 25. So even he, in his heart, knew that he wasn't built for the number seven. He wasn't that guy. Although he, 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 he claimed to, persons, you know, claimed that he replaced that guy at the time in 2009, which was Christian Ronaldo because he gone to Real Madrid. So Sir Alex Ferguson signed Valencia from Wigan Athletic. <laughs> well, you know where that come from. But he knew that he was a number seven material. He knew that. De Maria got it. Things went south. Depay got it. Things went south. Wells got it. Sanchez got it, man. They things go way down south, man. Things that one of the worst transfers ever. Him and Anthony's in a boxing match in contention for the worst transfer ever, man. At Manchester United in the Premier League ever. Who else? Um, and Mason Mount. I mean, Mason Mount is at Manchester. He can he can turn things around, but seeing that Mason Mount is in. You know, a fold. Now, how are you going to? How how is that? How is it that everything Hog is going to use and utilize his services for the betterment of the side? Because Mason Mount is not no creative midfielder. He's not no box to box. He's a number ten man. So if you go play him deep, that's not going to look good. That's not. Um, I'm not. That's not going to look good. And if you go if you go play two number ten with Mount and Bruno Fernandez and Kobe Mino. That's not going to look good either, man. It's not going to look good either. So something needs to be done about that, man. And other things that we need to take into consideration, seeing that everything I'll get seen at Manchester United for next season. Yes. We have to know what our expect. We have to be realistic about our expectations. We're out of the champ. We, we didn't even qualify for Champions League, but we have qualified for the Europa League. Although it's nothing to brag or boast about, but we are in the Europa League. We have to win a couple of trophies, bro. Now here's a th here's a here he <laughs> here's a here's a funny thing. I know this fan base. A good percentage of this fan base doesn't want everything up to stay at Manchester United. I am one of that, that fan in that fan base. Zin, but you have a different faction 
that wants everything to see and he is and he is he is, he is staying for next season so them get them wish them early christmas wish and hell he might be gone by early christmas but he's gotten they gotten their wish and he's staying for next season but here's the thing for us there's some united manchester united fans let's be honest that if there is a manager that they don't want at the club or there's a manager that has been, you know, messing up, losing games and him go say for next season, they don't want him to win no trophies because that's going to justify him to justify him to stay for another season. That's like giving them, you know, giving the club a reason to keep the struggling manager or them win one trophy for another season. You see me? So... Seeing that every time I get seen for man at Manchester United, I must say this, man. Just because I don't want, just because I want, I don't want him at Manchester United doesn't mean that we shouldn't go for trophies. Just to prove a point, say this manager shouldn't be at Manchester, shouldn't be the manager of Manchester United. We shouldn't be doing that. We should not be doing that. So let's aspire to get top four. Although the top sport, the top four spot is getting a bit tight because. Arsenal is looking to cement himself as a top three side. Man City has been a top three side because they won the Premier League four times in a row. Liverpool, I mean, uh, <laughs> new manager at Liverpool, man. Hey, I saw a photo of, um, you know, Ayrton Hogg and the new Liverpool manager. And they, no, they, I saw a photo of breaking, two Breaking Bad characters. And I know you persons who I'm talking about. Walter White. And uh, Hank, you know, the, 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 the DEA agent. So them go have the DEA agent Hank and Walter White in the photo. And I must say, the new Liverpool manager is Hank. Is, is, is Hank. <laughs> and I'm saying, of course, because we all know this, that Walter White Heisenberg is is, is uh, Terry Erting Hank. I find that funny. I, I, I laugh at it when I first saw it. But anyway, Liverpool may, may look to... Get top five at least, you know, in his first season, you know, unproven. He's looking to find the rhythm of the side, see where the side is at. So I'm not expecting them to pull trees next season. But I'm going to be lingering in the top five, I would like to think. You see me? Tottenham, Posa Koglu and uh, his crew, <laughs> they might they, they they might they are looking to get top five, man. Posa Koglu didn't go back go didn't go to Tottenham. To just be another Tottenham manager to make sure they get top five spot, top six spot, be safe. And no man, they, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be trying to win something. They haven't won a trophy since 2008. They have not won a trophy over a decade, man. They have not won a trophy. I'm not talking about the article in the pre in, in, in them pre season. I'm talking about proper trophies. They haven't won the Carling Cup since 2008. Or 2009. I think it's 2008. But yeah, man. It's been a while, man. It's been a while they've won a trophy. So I'm pretty sure uh, 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 Ange Postacoglu would be looking to win uh, trophies. Brighton and Newcastle is looking to, you know. I mean, Newcastle, I mean Brighton just lost um, this Derby as a manager. So things might look different for them. But Newcastle with um, Eddie Howe. Is looking to know how to aspire to, you know, not only get top five, but to, to maintain top five place. You see me? So, Manche uh, with Manchester and uh, Man uh, Manche with Manchester United, man. I'm not even saying Chelsea because. I mean Chelsea can. I mean Chelsea got top six. They're in the Euro League. You know they can try. Yeah, they can. They're they're look, they're looking to be the Chelsea of old. But with Man let's bring this back to Manchester United. Manchester United should be wary that top getting top five will not be easy and, and, and it's not going to be easy. Top five, getting top five is like taking a, a, a hand, a hand of uh, rice out of the hand of a baby. I'm pretty sure to so make you guys try to you know open the hand of a baby and it tight, it can open as strong as you is. And the baby not even as strong as you, but the baby, you can't open the baby hand. That's how, that's how hard it's going to be for Manchester United to get top five spot. So, we have to find it in ourselves, man, through the transfers that we make in the upcoming future. Because the summer is around the corner. 
and uh just yeah man just reinvent the side man bring in new players sell out new sell out, sell out new players sell out the players that has been in this squad that is unreliable malasia man i see him and rashford trying to you know bring it bring it to fruition in, in training trying to you know maintain him fitness because they never get called up for the euros you know um so yes malasia is not missing he's actually alive um what else yeah man we are, and everything that needs to implement a proper style of play for the betterment of the players in the squad he came to manchester united and according to him oh you know he wanted to play the, the ajax way the ajax way of doing things is me of playing football but we haven't seen that at all for the 20 months that he's been here man we have not seen that we haven't we haven't seen that we haven't seen it, man. Ray Charles can see that we have seen it. We have not seen that type of football on the football pitch. We haven't seen it. And that's not, not no excuses because look at Tottenham, man. They haven't won no trophy. But the football that they are playing, even against top top sides in the Premier League, they might get trashed, but they, you see the intent, the entertainment in the football they play. Yeah, and everything I needs needs to bring that to Manchester United, man. If he can do that, then he can win me over. But right now, it's less than little that he can win me over. I've seen enough, man. And for Manchester United to keep this guy for another season, I know, I know. Let me let me let me say let me say something right now. I I, I believe I know why they kept everything up. Is because the managing the management pool is 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 in terms of the quality of the managers available. It's not, this there's not much managers out there so that is quality that can just come in, you see me and and uh, get the ball rolling at Manchester United. Mourinho gone to Fenerbahce and I don't think Mourinho would want to come back to Manchester United for another season at least for a full for a full season. I don't think so. So. No other manager, no quality manager out there for for the, the club. You know, Radcliffe and his people and Railsford is right and man to bring in another manager to the club. So so the I mean, let's let's be <laughs> let's let's be realistic, gents. Let's be realistic. I know some talking about to some gents right now, but let's I know some of you guys have kept a girl because you have looked around, you, you know, you have gone around the world and, and, and you don't find anybody better than the girl that you have. So, you know what? You say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to keep her for convenience. I'm going to keep her just because, you know, I mean, she ain't going nowhere else. So, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm keep her around. But what you still do is you're still looking around the block for a better fruit, a better skirt. So I believe that even if Manchester United keep him because they are keeping everything hog, they're still on the outskirts looking for a better manager to replace him. That, I mean, that's proactivity at its best, bro. We should be proactive. Because we know we, we know we, we if if thing if things hit the fan just with, with Pochettino and Chelsea, man, in mid season where Ertang just losing games at right and center like he did in some sections of last season with Manchester United we need to know who we can you know bring in at least for couple you know months couple uh six months uh interim and then get the main manager in the summer you know what I mean that's what I think but right now they're keeping him because of convenience sake that that's a theory I that's a theory that's an opinion of mine a subjective opinion that they're keeping everything out because the quality of managers in the cesspool right now is small. There is no quality manager available. Pochettino available, like Pochettino is available, but he just came out of hellhole from Chelsea, man. He doesn't want to get back into another hellhole. And 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 let's be real. Pochettino doesn't have the ego or the strength of backbone to be Manche to be Manchester United's manager, man. Chelsea ate him alive. He couldn't control the dressing room of Chelsea. He had players fighting over penalties. Why have him players fighting over penalties? The players should know who is the penalty taker of the side. So there should not be no fighting. And I think, uh, what? 
I think Cole Palmer had a hat trick or was pending to get a hat trick or something, but you still, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He got a hat trick and he scored a goal and he got four goals. But still, man, if the penalty taker is the penalty taker, you should say the penalty taker. Enough story. Unless the manager says otherwise. So, yeah, so I'm not trusting of Pochettino, man. And hell, PSG, <laughs> PSG ate him up for dinner, man. So, we don't want this guy at Manchester United. You know, not being able to handle egos and that type of thing, man. No, man, we need some, that's somebody that's strong. Strong personality type. And he plays positive football. But we're not seeing that right now. So, Manchester United keeps everything up. But at the stake of keeping everything up, there's a few things you have to keep in mind. And I've said this in the first at least 10 minutes of this video. Jaden Sancho is not going to be no longer a Manchester United player. There's a good chance he may go to Barcelona or even play football in Italy. You know, play football with the Italians, man. Because, <laughs> or, um, you know, he goes to, hell, I don't know, he probably go to PSG or wherever he's going to have it. I don't know Dortmund. I don't know if Dortmund have the wages to keep him for you know seasons consistently, but no, he's not going to Real Madrid. Real Madrid just spend dollars, not dollars, but they got Mbappe on free, uh, on a free transfer. But let's let's not act as if Mbappe's wages is like one ninety per week. Let's let's not do that, cause that that's, that bridging costs his money, cause he's a mercenary type player, so. Sancho is not going to stay at Manchester United. As far as transfers, as mentioned in this video, and as I've mentioned before, man, we cannot allow him to have full depth of control over the transfers, man. That's why we need, that's why we have been getting, pe that's why we have been getting football people in this squad, and we need to keep getting football people in this, in this club, not squad. I'm all over the place. So yes, man, you're keeping everything on, okay, cool, fine. Do that. But let's 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 we know everything can be stubborn and we have seen his stubborn tendencies. He needs to start play, he needs to start players that are are start merit. Like uh Diallo should be starting on the right hand side. Strikers, man. We need two strikers, man. We need strikers, bro. We need at least two strikers. And even if Marcel said, as I've mentioned, even if Marcel said we needed another striker. So we need strikers, we need midfielders, we need a, a, a defender because Van gone. And we don't know if, 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 if Johnny Evans is going to stay permanent. So we need defenders, man. We need transfers. We have to be starting acting. We have to be start acting now. We don't need to be start waiting on, you know, Euros 2024 to see, oh, who is the star of this tournament that we can get? Let's not do that. That can happen as time go on. But right now, we need to be proactive, man. See what's up, man. Who we can get. Who is quality. Who is quality good enough to come to Manchester United. And not just get some player from no hit me, you know, uh, Euro 2024 tournament that, that, that had a hit moment. And then when we go sign him, him turn to the we don't want to be doing that we don't want to be wasting money like that man we don't want to be wasting money we have done that too much times in the past but i've been running my mouth for the first for the for the last uh 20 23 minutes let me know your thoughts manchester united is keeping everything i'm gonna have and i saw it coming i just didn't want to accept the reality of it but i have now i've accepted the reality that everything will be manchester united's manager for next season um, yeah, so let me know your comments down below in the comment section, man. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Like, uh, leave your comments down below. That's all I want, you know, that's all I want to say, man. That's all I wanted to say. I'm not keen on everything I've seen. Uh, I'm not keen on, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't trust, I don't trust everything I've seen. Now, let me say this. He is not a bad manager, you know, everything I've He's not a bad manager. But at a club of Manchester United standing, and you have this bridging as a manager, he's not that quite, he's not that, he, <laughs> he doesn't have the credentials to be Manchester United's manager, man. 
Look at the trans look at the players that he that he was linked to a summer back. And I went over that, so I don't want to go back at that. And his excuse of saying, oh, you know, we have we have uh, injury players, so we don't want to be, you know, playing ourselves football, you know, with our... What, dude, I get that, but play football, man. You shouldn't compromise just because you have injuries, man. You have players that can bring out what you want out of your players. So tell them what you want. Be positive football and work at it. I mean, there's hope, you know. There's hope for everything out because there I say there's hope. Although I don't want this, I didn't, I don't want everything out Manchester United. But to be objective, there's hope he can turn things around. Case in point, you look at Arsenal. Arsenal has had Arteta from late November, late 2019 up until now. That is what five years now, almost five years, but. Has steady four years he's been at Arsenal. For the first three seasons, or at least two seasons, they no promising. They no promising. Finish eighth, finish eighth. I think they finished tenth what, or twelve one time. I can't even remember. But the last two seasons, he's finished second. No, I'm not a big man on second place because you get second place, but you know we know trophy. Tro second place in you know, a trophy. But you see that he has improved. He has improved the players. He turned Ben White into a right back. He sell out, he sell out, not sell out as in, you know, betray. But he sold um, uh, Aubameyang. He wanted his own players. He knew, he, wa he knew what he wanted and who he wanted. He sell Ozil, the Eagles, Lacazette. He sell uh, that big left back. What name I'm going the Euro, the Euro, the Euro, the Euro, uh, Euro League with Atalanta, whatever I mean. Um, yeah. So I mean, there's hope, man. There's always hope, but I'm just skeptical, is all, man. I'm just skeptical, is all. Oh, you know, say so this bridge, this ballet bridge in from Netherlands go go succeed at Manchester United. Yes, him go in Carling uh, Car Car Cup in his first season. Then go beat Man City last season in the FA Cup final. Two trophies he has, right? And hell, he has more trophies than Arteta. And Arteta has been longer at Arsenal than, or, or, than, than everything at Manchester United. But see, we, we, can't, we can't just sick, sickle on these low-hanging fruit type of trophies, man. Premier League trophy and try to go for the Champions League trophy. Arsenal tried to do that last season and, 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 and kudos to them. They, they tried but they lost. So we should I don't want to say take a page out of them book because they know we know major trophies, but you have to have give the hats off to Arteta because he's improved the squad. Play proper football, you know what you're getting with them squad. Made Saka one of his main guys improve the squad. We'll have to see what Eri Tangok does with the squad, man. He's saying for next season. Um, season is out, so I'm, 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 I'm sure I'm, he better be working on him tactics and be more positive. Work on that midfield and with the, 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 the football guys, man, the director of football, whatever, who deal with the transfers, bring in proper players. We need two strikers. We need proper defenders. We need help, probably a couple midfielders too. Because Casimiro can get sell. Could get sell. And McTominay could get sell because I think a club is in for him or something. Comments below. I'm done ranting. Leave your comments down below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell as well so that you can be notified on each upload. I'll see you in the next video. Um, I know, I've, I know, I know, I, I can't even talk. I know I haven't been doing much uploads as I should have, and that's on me. That's on my. That's that's on. That's my fault. Um, but I'll be looking to do videos on the Euros, is me. And yeah, I'll be doing a Manchester United related video because just because the season done doesn't mean that Manchester United is done. Manchester United ain't done. Manchester, Manchester, Manchester United is still a business. It's a business club. They're still doing business, man. So I might do I might do a few videos on Manchester United still and, and some videos on Euros. 
but it won't be as um consistent i want to i want to give a heads up because i don't want to give you false pretense saying that yes man i'm gonna do uploads every day and i don't do that so i'm saying that right now so you can understand where i'm coming from so yeah that's what i wanted to say i'll see you in the next video don't know when that will be but i'll see you in the next video up until then be safe i'm out